Oh heck, there's nothing more annoying as a homeowner than when one of your smoke or carbon monoxide alarms has a dying battery. Just listen to that low battery beep. Well, at least it's not two in the morning when they usually seem to go off. All of my smoke and carbon monoxide alarms are actually hardwired into my electrical system, but they all have a nine volt battery backup. The beep is telling me that the battery voltage is low and that means it's time to replace the batteries. In this case though, I actually need to replace the entire alarm and all the others in my house because they're more than 10 years old. I'm going to replace every one of my old school alarms with these new Kitta worry-free alarms. These alarms feature a sealed lithium battery that lasts 10 years. With battery backups, the alarm is powered even when the home's power goes out. I'll also sleep better knowing that the worry-free combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarm features a voice warning that will identify if I have a fire or carbon monoxide threat. Hmm, does this sound hard to install? It's not. All you need is to make sure that you've dropped the power to your entire house before you begin to make sure you don't get shocked. It's a bit daunting to think about turning off the power to your entire house and then disconnecting and reconnecting new smoke alarms and you really do need to drop the power because there's hot leads and you don't want to get zapped. But it's really not as much work as you think. First step is to unscrew it from the ceiling and it should just drop down and then with a little bit of moving things around. So now there's two screws here that hold the ceiling plate in and I have a handy screwdriver so we'll just loosen them. We don't want to take them out. In this case the way the ceiling plate works is I move one sideways and it should come out. Um, there we go and then the other one comes off and so now it's like this and I want to sort of pull this whole mess of wires down. There's three connectors and you can see there's a red one and that's the interconnect line. There's a white one which is the neutral and there's the black one which is hot. We're going to take the new harness and we're going to connect it wire by wire. So I'll start with black and it's pretty easy to work with these. All you do is make sure the wires are all lined up and then it basically screws on usually. So you push the wire all the way into the end of this and then just screw it on until it's nice and tight. All the wires are in place. You just make sure they all go into the top. You screw it till it's tight and we should be good to go. So the next step is just to put the plate back on and you want to sort of, let's see, let's push this back up into the ceiling. Should be good. And it actually has holes in the same place. How about that for handy? Take the new alarm, plug it in, and there's only one way to plug it in, so that's pretty easy. There we go, and that beep says, I'm good. I hope this has inspired you to replace your old hardwired smoke and combination alarms with the new Kitta sealed battery 10 year smoke alarms. It really is worth the time. And here's another thing I want to point out is that you can't quite see it but there's a little LED on every single unit and it's glowing a very cheery green which tells me everything's good. And that's 10 years of everything being good. That sounds really good to me. So, I'll see you in my next video.